What is going on everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Joe and I've been welding for about 15 years now. And if you click this video, then it's pretty obvious you're interested in making a trailer frame. So let's not waste any time and let's just jump right into it. Come on. All right, real quick, just wanted to show you the dumbbell rack I made from scratch. Um, I'm probably gonna make the next video about how to make this. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned. Alrighty, we just got to the shop. As you can see, I am laying out my two sides right now. I'm going to go ahead and drill some wire holes in there. Uh, I like to get that out of the way so it's a little more easy. So we have 2x2 two two tube, 8th <laughs> inch walls for the thickness. And I'm just scrabbing my lines right now. I'm going 1 inch from the size and 1 inch from the end. You can use any measurement you want, but that's the one I'm using. The size of this trailer frame will be 5 by 8. So I am placing one hole on one side of the tubes at the end. And then on the other end of the same tube, I am putting one hole on one side. And then on the opposite side, I am placing another hole. You should have three holes all together in one tube. All right, now we can go ahead and take our pieces and start laying them out. These will be the sides, like I mentioned. So make sure for that one tube with just the one hole in it, make sure that hole is facing out. All right, now we're gonna lay in our center beams. And don't forget to put some clamps on so it doesn't move. And now the most important part is we're gonna make sure everything is square. So I'm taking the measurement from corner to corner. Each corner should be the same measurement. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put some caps on the ends of these tubes. It's going to help keep the water out. I am using just regular flat stock. Um, I cut it two and two. Um, they're eighth inch thick. Right now I'm just fitting everything up so everything is as square as possible. Now we can start welding. So as you can see, I'm starting to run a bead. Make sure, like any other weld, you are burning hot enough. This will be the very top of the frame and it's going to be grinded later. So you absolutely, absolutely want to get as much penetration as possible. Um, I went ahead and I welded the two sides. I was going to run it down, but I could tell that the metal was getting too hot. So I decided to wait. You can always come back to it. This is what it looks like. I wiped it off for you so you have a better view. But that's what all our corners are going to look like. Make sure to get all your corners first. I'm going to start putting in our uh, cross beams. I'm going to use two clamps. One is going to be clamped. I actually have a piece of angle iron on the inside to keep the measurement that I'm looking for. And the other clamp is going to be used to make everything flush as possible. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put in these floor supports. They're just two by two angles with a hole in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and get those into place. Now that we have everything in its place and where it should be, we'll go ahead and start tying her in. Uh, make sure to jump around a little bit when you do weld. You know those welds that we just laid down? Yeah, it's, uh, we're gonna have to grind those off. <laughs> 
This is going to make sure that we have a nice flat surface when we do put the floor on. Now it's time to flip it. Um, I do recommend getting help. It is pretty heavy and you're going to weld the same thing you did on the other side to this side. Once everything is welded, uh, do not grind it, but we're going to go ahead and put the tongue in. Uh, just find the center of your frame and uh, line up the tongue. We're using 2x3 tubing. So after that is all centered, we're going to go ahead and put in our tongue supports. I got two that are already cut. I do have them at a 22 degree angle and we're going to start welding the mounting brackets for the safety chains. So when you're welding your mounting brackets in, don't forget to just take your time with this. Your brackets are going to be a lot thicker material than your tube. If you go too fast, you're not going to get any penetration. The welt's just going to sit on top of the bracket and it's probably going to crack. Also, try to get in the habit of wrapping your welds when you go around corners. That is going to add more strength. Alright, we are just placing each tongue support where it should be. Um, we're going to go ahead and get it in the right position and then we're going to tighten it down and we're going to give it a tack so it doesn't move. We're going to do that on each side and then we're going to go ahead and weld our bead in. Right, so the frame is pretty much done. All you really got to do is flip it over and just finish any welts you missed. Um, but yeah, this is your basic frame. There's no rear receiver. There's no fenders, uh, bracket fenders. Um, it's pretty basic and it's pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and just throw this coupler on real quick. Um, as you can see, I'm just using a Sharpie. Real high tech stuff, you know. So I know I was moving pretty fast during this video, I didn't really want it to be too too long. Um, any questions let me know, or any suggestions for another video, maybe how to wrap around welds, uh, maybe how to lay a bead, machine setup, um, anything you're curious about let me know, I'd be more than happy to make a video about it. Alright guys, we're back. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, any questions, leave in the comments. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that regular YouTube stuff. And if you're interested in making that dumbbell rack, um, I think that's going to be the next move for the next video. And uh, until then, keep burning and uh, I'll see you later.